Oh my god. Oh my god, my sweater. Oh my god, no one is gonna believe this. No one's gonna believe I picked you up on the side of the road last night in the rain. Oh my god, and I gave you my sweater. And I said I'd pick it up tomorrow when I dropped you off in front of your house. Is this a joke? When I got to your mother's today, she said you've been dead for 20 years. <laughs> you could imagine my utter, utter shock. But here it is. Oh my God. Well, thank you for keeping your word and um, it was great to meet you. Um, sorry you are dead, um, but thank you. It was, your mom seems nice and you seem like a nice kid, so rest in peace. Thank you. Um, this is, is this barbecue sauce? It is like barbecue sauce on the sweater. I mean, if it, no big deal. If it is, I just, um, I'm glad you gave me the sweater. Thank you. But there's just a little, I, I, I'll, I'll get it clean. No big, it's, it's nothing. Actually, that's a, I mean, that's it. That is something. It's not nothing for me to, de this is Moroccan cashmere from Kenneth Cole. Okay, this is a $700 sweater. There's a little bit of barbecue sauce on it. Um, just so that you know the cost and the value of things. I think that's an important lesson that someone should have taught you, but didn't. So, word of warning, word, of, word to the wise. Next time you, next time you uh, grift someone, a kind stranger, to give you a ride and give you a sweater, and then before you go out to whatever barbecue joint that you went to, between when I left you off and now, you should think maybe wear a bib. And your mother, and believe me, I'm going to talk, she's going to hear about this. Your mother will hear about this. And I'm going to ask her to reimburse me for the barbecue that you got after I let you off. She's going to be pissed that you went out to eat and didn't hang out with your own mother. You were sick in life and you were sick and rude in death.